Let's start with this new lesson. And in this lesson, we will learn how we can create opacity-based textures inside Unreal Engine. So first of all, we have this image and I will use this image as an opacity image inside Unreal Engine. And I got this image from freepec.com. So what I'm going to do right now is that first of all, I will save this uh, image, go to file, save a copy. And inside my Unreal Engine for, uh, project folder, I will go to my Unreal Engine project folder and the folder where I'm going to save is the landscape project. I will go to the content and I will make a folder here. I, I already made a folder and call this folder uh, opacity textures and it's already saved inside here. Okay, so I will save over it just to show you and that's all. Now, my image is saved, but I need a opacity map. So opacity map, how it works, the black area doesn't show and the white area shows. So I have to create a black and white. So I will simply uh, select this whole uh, image from here. Okay. This part of the image, the white part and make a new uh, layer and then I will take a, uh, my fill color and drop a black color here in this area okay which is the outside area so everything will become black now I will invert my selection so I will press Control shift I it will invert my selection if you're using a Mac then command shift I it will invert my selection and I want to put white color inside my selection and when I will put white color, it will become something like this. Now, there are a couple of items that are left here. So you can see that I have to put these white on these as well. And then once this is done, by the way, uh, you can, the much more easier way is that you can, um, you can cut this image and you can put this image on a different layer and then recolor it with using the um, your color uh, style mode. Okay, well, usually just like this, it take uh, it it takes uh, usually time. So, but I'm doing this for the sake of this project. So, we have this ready here now what I, I i don't want this background so i will delete this one and then i will save this as a copy in the same folder where i have my unreal projects and then i have my uh that screen project and then i have content and then inside the content i have opposite like textures and graffiti underscore opacity or map so both I have saved in that folder okay now if I will go to Unreal Engine uh, so automatically it will ask me to import what I saved there so I will just import it and because it was saved in that folder that's why it detected it is that something new is being saved and it will be here now I have these two files now what I simply need to do is that I will make a new uh, folder here like a new material here Right click on it, material, and call, I will call this graffiti. Okay, there, uh, you cannot use same name, so I will underscore mat. Okay, I will double click on this one. And just stock it here. I will take my graffiti map, put it here, and now, I need an opacity map. I cannot get this opacity. I can see opacity, but it's not enabled. So what we need to do is that we have to change the blend mode of, of my material. So I will take my uh, material by clicking here. And here I will go in the material and inside the blend mode, I will change it to translucent. And when I will change it to translucent, I will get the opacity, but I will lose metallic and uh, specular or roughness so what you need to do is that you can go down here where you will see the 
lighting mode somewhere. Okay. Um, have to set. Yeah, here is the lighting mode, and here in the lighting mode, I have to change it to surface trans uh, translucency volume. When I will click on it, I will get my specular roughness and everything back. For this project, we don't need it, but just uh, I just wanted to show you. Uh, so I will go back here, take my opacity map here, and drag it to the opacity here. Okay, so I got this, you can see. Let's do one thing. Let's put some values for the roughness and the metallic. So I will go to the metallic here and make it 0.5 something. Okay, so it can reflect. And this one also 0.5, the roughness. Put this in the roughness. Okay, so I will save this. Once it is saved, I will go back to my scene, take my material and drag it here. And you can see how it is affecting the scene. Uh, I can, what I can do is that I can rotate my uh, like uh, plane here just to show you. And I can put this a little bit down if you want. And you can see how nicely it has placed it. It has a, a, a good... Uh, reflection also going on uh, because we have used metallic and kind of a good uh, roughness is happening. Okay. Now one more thing we can do here is that let's delete this one and create a cube. Put this cube a uh, little bit up. I'll make it a little bigger. Put it down. By the way, uh, you can press end on your keyboards uh, if your if your object is up in the air. So when you press end, it will put it down directly. Now what I will do here is that if you remember the last uh, in the last class we created this uh, texture, so I will drag and drop here on this, okay, and then what I will do is that let's rotate this so we can have a little bit flat surface here. We uh, the opacity map that we created here, we can con uh, we can create this uh, as a, we can convert this as a uh, decal. Now, what is a decal? It's like a sticker which you can put on any object. So, how to convert this? I will go here. Everything is fine here. What I need just need to do. I have to go to my uh, material. And um, in the material domain, instead of surface, I will choose deferred decal. So when I will do that, you will see that it has become a decal here. So I can simply save this one. Okay. Or one more thing you can do is that uh, you can, instead of using this opacity map from here, you can also use the alpha of this image as an opacity map. So you have these choices, okay? But I will rather keep this one. And I will save this. And now I'll go to materials. Now if you, if you will see, this is not a material anymore. This is like a decal. Decal is like a sticker that you can drag and drop and put it on anywhere. Like suppose if I want to put it here, I can simply put it here just like this. And then you can see it is on my surface. I can simply rotate it, okay? And I can also uh, scale it down just like you do on a simple uh, uh, materials, okay? And rotate it correctly down. You can move it wherever you want. And you can make it faded as well. How to make it faded? You can move it inwards till it gets faded. So it's totally up to you how much you want that. Okay. But you have to be careful that where, wherever this is, it will apply this uh, decal, uh, decal there. Like suppose if I press E on my keyboard, rotate it back to how it was just like this, put it down. And you will see that it will start up appearing on the floor, as you can see. Okay. 
So now it is appearing on the floor. Now I don't want it to appear on the floor. I want it to only appear on the uh, box. So what I can do, I can take my uh, floor from here, landscape, and inside the landscape, I will search for receive decal option. Okay. I think I have not selected the right item here. Okay. Uh, because I'm using uh, grass and everything here, so it's all mixed up. So let me do the same thing here on the brick wall that uh, we, we created. So I will just type here decal and I will get this option receive decal. So if I will uncheck the receive decal from this object, it will not show that decal anymore okay now to change the decal you just have to select the decal option and you can see that it's not appearing on the uh, box it like on this uh, cube anymore so i hope you have understood how you can create any opacity map here and how to create decals through the opacity map if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do it now and don't forget to hit the bell icon by the way, I have noticed that many of you are watching my videos without subscribing. So let's change that. Subscribe to my channel and be the part of the interactive community. Now, here's something really important I want to talk about. Please do not download my videos. Just watch them online. When you download them, it messes up my watch time hours. And that's a bummer. I want to keep creating awesome videos, but it's demotivating when I lose out on those stats. Thanks a bunch for your support. You guys rock. Catch you all in the next video.